What's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha and I'm super glad to be here because I'm showing off my hair. Anyways guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time here, I'm super glad to have you. Please do want to subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed watching it, okay? Now, of course, you guys are expecting me to come here and talk to you about Big Brother Neja highlights, but apparently the show did not air today being Saturday. I feel like it's a Monday to Friday show, so I decided that instead of leaving you guys hanging, let's just talk about I Am Lee Con, okay? Because we have more episodes to cover. I don't even know how I want to do this thing, but yeah, let's just find a way around it okay today we're going to be talking about the episode 7 of i am lacon reality tv show so if that's something you're interested in then please do all to keep on watching okay <music> <laughs> now I'm aware a lot of us are cry babies because you guys kept on telling me oh better I also cried on the last episode I also cried on the last episode it feels good to know that I have people who also cry because I cannot be the only one that cry about little things all right anyways guys episode 7 started off in Lekon's sitting room and we had Gome coming to visit Lekon Gome is Lekon's manager just in case you guys have forgotten Gome was talking to Lekon about sickle cell foundations and the fact that those people have reached out to them multiple times even when Lekon was in the house so it would be nice for them to do something in that line especially because we all know that Lekon is SC and Gome himself is SS so it's really important that they do something and of course Lekon really welcomed the idea he was really excited about it and they plan to visit the Sickle Cell Foundation somewhere in Surulere, Lagos okay next up was an event Lekon went for on the mainland you know he had gone there with Yomi and Tarela of course you guys remember Tarela his content manager the show was really really fun to watch because you know Lekon was just there singing and giving us vibes you know fierce vibes our fierce do, 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 do. Okay, better I don't know how to dance. Leave this thing. Anyways, guys, Lekon's performance was really on point. The guests made it more fun because they were just singing along. Our fierce, do our fierce. Eh, eh. Okay, better leave this thing. Leave this thing. Now the next thing opened up in Lekon's sitting room, and this time around, Lekon was there with his brother Yomi. We also had BC there. You know, BC is his best friend, and also his road manager. You know, then Shore came in. Shore happens to be the scheduling manager. Like if you want to see Lekon, you go through Shore. And of course, as soon as Shore came in, they knew that there was an important information. You know, Shore had come to talk to Lekon about his music. There was a need for him to either work on his EP or work on his album. And that was something Lekon was super excited about because for him, he just wants to be in the studio. He just wants to release more tracks for us. And guess what? We are here to receive it with our full chest because what else are we here for really? Now, the next scene opened up at the beach. And no, Lekon did not go there to swim. He actually went there for a music video with Mr. Real, Mr. Real, uh, Baba Fella, oh, let's just do Baba Fella, three, that's it, uh, uh. Better, what is your problem? Trust me, I don't know the song, but I love to vibe to that song, you know, so excuse my excuse all of this okay Lekon was actually on that video you know Zlatan was also there I'm sure by now you guys have listened to that song Ele Jojo Jubaba Fela but that's not how they sang it but yeah it was a very nice music video moving on guys the next thing opened up at the sickle cell foundation of course Lekon lived up to his words you know he visited the foundation and they took him around the foundation showing him the equipment they have there and all of that it was such a beautiful sight knowing that we have something like this here in Lagos Nigeria I just don't know we have equipment we have people who can do these things but I'm just not sure if they are functional because you just see one building now the person that won't help something 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 when you go there the person then they attend to person so what's now the use but let's just hope that this one is in use because it would be really painful if all of these things they showed us is not even being used and it's just there for I don't know I'm not even know if I want to talk now but anyways Lekon went round it was really nice the parents were there with their children who are also SS and SC and you know Lekon spoke from his heart you know he kept on telling them you are strong you are important it was just more of words of affirmation he just kept on reminding them that they were important and of course they had a say so they need to be strong they need to be 
this they need to be done and after all of that yeah he was given an award by one of the administrators there i think the man is a professor and all of that and you know that was that for that particular scene next up was a meeting between lecon tariela and director stans now director stans was actually supposed to help lecon out with one of his music videos and what they basically talked about was the budget you know the location styling costume just all of those things were what they discussed and tariela of course was more concerned about the budget she was like see please after all these things have been discussed all i need to see is the budget let's know if it is feasible let's know if it's something we can afford let's see where we can cut down on stuff you know of course she was doing her job and for me that was really really understandable now it was time for them to actually shoot the video you know lecon had gone to the first set with his brother yomi when they got there the clothes they brought for Lecon. I don't understand. The company said they never even measured the guy because the clothes were bigger. Apparently, there was a mistake in the measurement. You know, the one they gave to the stylist was way bigger. So it just meant that everything they made for Lecon to wear were not his size. They now started looking for belts. I don't know whether they won't use belts inside the boy Destiny because I don't understand what the belt was there for. When I know say you're supposed to test this thing even before the day they will shoot the video. But stylist, where you day? You know, even day. Even that day they were supposed to shoot the video, the stylist was nowhere to be found. She just sent her boy okay the boy came now with waiting madam give him Ngwa, waiting your madam so he not size me okay wear belt how do we go about it where's your boss she's on her way she's in traffic okay let me go and get it i even pity the boy because lecon was pissed like today's my shoot and my clothes are not my size like is this a joke then as bad as he come bad rich you still not even come early you can't carry cloth give your boy say make he can't do it i know it's the boy won't come do that's in pain lake i swear because they kept on calling the stylist she was saying eh, she's in traffic and eh, this one you know even don't get any good excuse i was just like ah so unprofessional by the way her name is ella see if your stylist not ella check and wear before she'll carry clothes one of your size give you now can you guys believe that they didn't even end up showing us the stylist they mean say she not even come because the next part where they can't show us, now where them lay on, don't go the next set for beach. You know, where they were setting up the beach and all of that. Because they also had like a scene from there, you know. And then the last scene was where Tarela was talking about one accident. You know, I don't really know who get the accident. I mean, I don't watch them, but they did show it in episode 7. So I'm not going to talk about it on this particular episode. All we know is that Tarela was talking about an accident. And from what we could see here, yeah, Lekon was not involved in that accident. But I think his brother, Yomi, and maybe somebody else were involved in the accident. And it's like they bashed the car. I don't really know who they talk about for the next episode. Okay? Now, that's all the gist I have for you guys on today's episode. If you enjoyed watching it, please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed guys please subscribe to my other channel it's called Betha's Corner I'm going to leave the name of the channel on the screen so that you guys can see it follow I'm probably going to leave the link in the comment section as well just so it's easy for you guys thank you so much for watching I'm definitely going to come to you guys with another video maybe tomorrow evening as well especially because they're not even going to show us big brother or anything okay so yeah thank you guys so much i love you guys so much i hope you like my new hairdo and my earrings like this is the first time i'm doing this kind of hair i've never done it i just wanted to do something different african simple cute you are free to take a screenshot now